what is up everyone and welcome back to life of kush just a quick video today seen as we're in the middle of anting season i thought i'd give you a couple tips to help you catch yourself a queen ant this year now i've been using these tips to identify when nuptial, nuptial flights are happening or if they've already happened and i should be looking for queens so the first one is birds oh my gosh look at that all because it's ants nuptial flight these birds and it's not just the gulls it's not just the gulls that love the ants you get drunk on them and that sparrows be hunting them mid-flight crazy magpies hunt them on the ground it's sick that is crazy So after seeing those birds in the sky, I already knew straight away it was nuptial flight as I did see, as you heard in the video, sparrows hunting them. But I went down to the bottom of my garden and as you can see, this is what I seen. So that tip definitely does help and probably, well, it might be only with large flights that you'll see crowds of birds in the sky like that. But even with smaller flights, you will see birds on the ground picking up queens so that is a solid tip so it's time for tip number two so tip number two is for if you've missed the initial nuptial flight now during that in season my eyes are always looking at the ground anyway so if you come across these kinds of scenes aka workers dragging dead drones back to their nest then that is a very good sign that a nuptial flight has happened recently now, if you didn't know, drones die straight after basically mating with queens because they are useless after that. But yeah, if you do come across this, then it is time to get your ant hunting equipment out and look for those wingless queens that could still be looking for their founding chambers. So those are my two quick tips to help you catch queen ants this year. If it helped, then leave a like and maybe subscribe for more animal content. But I've been Kush, you've been watching Life of Kush. I'm out. Happy hunting.